hey guys what's up everybody welcome or welcome back again to another video tutorial from the apex predator billiards club my name is apex selenio and as you can see here immediately on the screen we are into one of the best matches that i've ever played in the year 2021 playing against one of jamaica's most lethal and talented pool player goran fortner um, I'm gonna start over from the break guys but I want you to watch this entire match it has a lot of twists and turns in it and this is a race to two eight ball finals of the MSK YPP points tournament awards um, finals between me and Mr. Fortner here G unit all right so here you can see you guys I just have pieces of the clippings I don't have the full full complete match running straight but let's just pretty much start it over from the break here and see if it is that we can get a roll onto this right now so here we go this is the break shot here for you and um, if this is the first time here on the channel guys please be sure to smash that subscribe button like share and turn on your post notification bell to be notified if you want to see me on the circuit and watch my growth and progress in my country and get into the next level so that was a pretty good break shot there by mr fortner he's off and running we are playing the game of eight ball here very ferocious player very talented player but of course i was into my prime here and i was not gonna back down and let him walk right all over me i was definitely gonna give him the challenge of his life so i hope you enjoy this match up here guys let's get into it <clears throat> so here we go he's off he's running he has chosen the solids and he only has one problematic ball here which is the five which is tied up with my 13 here so he's just moving quite eloquently around the table very steady but ooh, just overrunning that ball played with played with played with center ball here to come out for the five very pinpoint precise position that he's playing but just a little overall here you can see that even with overrolling there you can see the confidence the camera guys is zoning in on his face that's our referee Orlando Brooks aka Radical one of the most entertaining player in the pool industry definitely but woo, almost missing that one real kick well he missed the one real kick just fortunately coming back off the second reel <coughs> bumping the one <coughs> pardon me guys so Mr. Fortner got a little bit fortuitous there by not giving up a ball in hand but now it is time for me I have a couple of balls tied up so I'm pretty much gonna have to try to play some sort of defense here I have two balls the 12 and the 15 tied up on the side wheel there I tried to actually play that ball into the side but I just missed that shot the score at the moment as you can see on the screen is obviously 0-0 zero, zero. this is the first rock but Again, I too, fortuitously, did not leave Mr. Fortner here with a shot on any of his ball. He still has a problem ball on the five. He has to either get the five cleanly or he has to play position onto the five. But I'm still in defensive mode here. I am not able to really attack as yet. But I see an opportunity here to just kind of break up my cluster and still play safe and still tie up that five ball at the end. so that was a really good shot there on the five he's not able to see the five he can see an edge of the five but he cannot make any shot so i definitely have him on the ropes here guys um i'm feeling really really confident um definitely we're having some issues there with our chalk because obviously i have a very bad habit of as soon as i play a shot i take my chalk up, up from the table so we're just kind of addressing that matter there a little bit now it's addressed we are back here he only can see an edge of the five here so he's gonna try to move his five ball into a makeup position and still try to play a safe maybe he's just trying to hook me on my 14 ball there <coughs> and that red 11 ball there so he is, can see that he's trying to use some inside swing to hook me on those two clustered balls but now his two balls are out in the open um i'm not sure if i'm in defensive mode as yet or still i should say 
but um, I know I'm definitely gonna have to play another safety. This is my third safety that I'm gonna have to play on this really, really talented and ferocious player. I can tell you, his name alone definitely um, makes every opponent plays their best game. Whether you like it or not, you're gonna have to play your best game when you're playing with this guy, because he is one of Jamaica's most lethal player. I posted a video on my channel with, of course, him i defeated him in the quarterfinals of a tournament wow what a shot what a kick shot on the five great shot there by mr Fortner. definitely gonna be getting this rock <clears throat> and of course nicely done pocket in the one to play position he kind of overruled a bit here though because he's now jacked up should be a relatively easy shot for him to play here but ooh just that jacked up shot there on that eight causes him here to miss that easy eight will it be an opportunity for apex here to come along i still have his eight ball is not tied up so and i have a clustered ball here over to the left side of the side rail here so again i'm just gonna have to try to do get an angle on one of my balls to try to break out that pack here but pretty good i'm off and running that's my first shot in this match i'm really feeling good because when he makes a mistake like this you get that adrenaline pumping through your veins that you need to punish him for his mistake because he definitely punishes you for every mistake that you make and this is what makes him so great he just takes advantage of every and any opportunity presented to him so i too have to do the same thing here and as you can see just the way how i'm moving around the table i'm quite confident and so i just played here a shot in the side <clears throat> there you can see i'm measuring up the tangent line to kind of stun into the cluster ball so this is a prime position here but i'm gonna be making a little error here though wow there you can see i didn't really play it stun i think i had a misjudgment on that shot <clears throat> i had a misjudgment i thought that a little bit of stun follow not much would have gotten me into the pack i didn't want to smash into the balls and put them into even worse positions than they are already are so i decided to just play a stun follow but unfortunately i needed to really stun that ball with center to break out the pack I still have a shot on the 13 and the angle is there to break out the 12 and the 15 but <clears throat> there you can see a nice breakout would it it would have been had i pocketed that 13 so there a mental error on that shot there so a mental a mental error on that shot there guys causing me to not win this rock to take the first lead here but g unit did play well in that rock he did stuck to his task even though he made a mistake he was supposed to win this rock from the get-go after such a lovely kick shot on that five to get position on the eight but it happens that's the part that's the part that's a part of the game of eight ball we have now transitioned into rock number two and he only wants one game to win this is a forty thousand dollar match this is the finals as you can see the crowd is ants up and uh, uh, the crowd is very antsy very very chilling wow that's a great shot beautiful beautiful shot on that very confident but um what is he on here he's on stripes so he has played a lovely shot there to break out one part of his ball but then he has tied up another ball that he has in the open so he has gonna he's gonna have to do some magic here and try to play some proper position to get onto that i believe it's the 11 ball that's tied up playing really solid playing really steady as you can see very confident player in his demeanor wow that's another beautiful shot there very good you can hear the crowd in the background just everybody just expects it expected him to do very well and he usually doesn't disappoint very rarely does he disappoint so yes definitely really good shot there by g unit pocketing that ball straight down but woo, overrunning this table is really really fast definitely faster than most tables that i play on so definitely had he pocketed that ball and gotten position on that 15 it would have been game over for me here so g unit is gonna have to play 
a monstrous shot here and the reason why the shot is so monstrous is obviously because he's gonna have to jump the ball and still play position so let's see already you have seen what he can do here he's already kicked a five and played precise position on the eight down he goes leveling up popping this cue ball here boom beautiful using the real shot what an amazing shot there by goran for now crowd is impressed i am impressed tapping there fantastic i'm just giving it giving him the 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 the, the praise that he deserves here guys excellent shot here very steady about to take the forty thousand dollars wow very uncharacteristic miss there very interesting that's an open opportunity for apex selenio here to get back into the match this was an all over match here because he he's on the eight but he has missed that 14 ball that is unbelievable but here we go apex is off and running confidently on the ball should have definitely punished g unit for the mistake he made earlier in the previous rock but now i have my opportunity here the balls are in open table i have i'm going after this three i have the seven i have the one i have the six i have the four and i have the eight there so definitely um in prime position to run out here moving quite quickly around the table am i definitely do <clears throat> Just stunning out. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Definitely moving a bit too fast. I told you in a lot of my previous videos that this was one of my biggest weaknesses. I'm not very patient when it comes to the game. I play so fast because I tend to get a little bit so overconfident. But, um, I mean, I was very fortuitous there because I've now blocked the pocket. And now he has to do a massive kick on this eight, on this I believe is that the 14 ball yes massive kick. very good kick shot there but it hasn't done him any real justice here because evidently I'm going to have to go back into defensive mode until I have an open opportunity here so this is just pretty much just pushing this cue ball using the eight ball there as a blocker <coughs> and so again I've left him with an opportunity either to jump here or to kick can he see at age of the 14 i am not so sure if if he can see at age of this 14 here he's gonna go after it straight down so i believe that's what he's going after he's calling it straight down but he just played that ball a bit too thick i guess that he needed to play it a bit thinner oh wow so close almost scratching and leaving an open opportunity here again his ball went into a cluster so again i'm gonna have to play another defensive shot here on this i believe the six ball is it or it's the four ball i believe it is the two ball that i'm playing the safety on so i'm forcing g unit here to jump he's in prime position here this is this is a makeable jump at his level he's an a plus plus player so this is a very nice jump shot if he makes this the crowd will erupt Ooh, so close there so close uh, on this this is a very exciting match a thriller thriller match but now he too got 40 with us by of course leaving he has now let me safe i'm asking my referee here has i have i called my extension as yet we're using a 30 second shot clock 15 second extension one extension per rock so i'm gonna have to move quickly here again the nerves are in ladies and gentlemen eight ball is not one of my favorite games i've totally transitioned into playing nine ball but eight ball is still a game that is loved by the country the players in my country and it's just the game that we play most of all but here's apex in the first of all with a prime shot here jumping this shot can he make it i did post this clipping on my instagram and on my facebook and on my youtube beautiful shot there by apex selenio thank you thank you very much that's an excellent shot there by apex selenio unfortunately i didn't get a chance to show you the end of this rock but i have to tell you though that i was able to clear the rock and level the score at 1-1 a piece so we're gonna close this part of the video now guys i'm so sorry i wasn't able to let you see the end of that rock but now We'll transition into the third rack here and it's now a hill hill match for $40,000 the pressure is on 
Both players are feeling it. Jeunt has broken the rock. Crowd is erupting. Crowd is now saying it's anyone's game. Apex Selenio has the first opportunity of attack here. What will I choose? I believe I'm going to be choosing the solids. Solids looks like a more open game here for me. Right, so I'm going after the seven ball first straight down. All the players that you're seeing in front of you there are talented players. Let's start over from the break there. Pardon me. We have to see that again. That break shot there. Flew the ball off the table. Too much adrenaline. Junit made a monstrous error. Even though he tried to get back, I definitely pulled out a shot out of the bag to definitely get him in, get him all riled up. Alright, so it's an exciting match here, guys. Definitely, I hope you're enjoying it. This is just one of the most fun match that I've posted on my channel in a very, very long time. This is our second, this is our, this is our third meeting in the month of December. And so far, the score is 1-1 between me and him. So, anybody who wins this rock and wins this match will definitely be taking an adrenaline lead, a lead of the amount of meetings that we have had. Take the, take the solids, pocket in the seven, five, they're stunning into that pack, breaking open the cluster. I have that ball there, he has a ball tied up with my two balls here, I still have an open shot on the six, I have a shot on the three ball here, a little bit jacked up over the nine, gonna have to just kind of play steady here, roll this three ball in to get onto that one, making certain that I do not make contact referees on point there really good shot i have the six all the way down to the side rail i have the one i have the two and i believe i have the seven ball what will happen here i'm not able i i do remember while i was playing this i don't remember that i'm able to see a full ball and i cannot take the risk as you can hear me saying in the video i cannot take the risk on that shot because if i miss a shot here it is game over so I've decided here to take the one. I'm literally going to be trying to stun under the 15 to get the six onto the short side here. Wow, missing the shot here, but I'm still fortunate enough not to leave Mr. Fortner here with an easy shot. He has an open opportunity. I'm not sure if he's able to see any of his ball. He has the nine. I think he should be able to play the nine here. Yes, he can. So he's just going to try to take, navigate him way around the rack. Beautiful. Just look at the control that he has on the cue ball. Very good. Just going two wheels there. Can he see the 12? That 13 ball right here is lined up, lined up against my two balls. My two balls are open. His 13 ball is lined up. Is Sorry, not lined up, but obviously snookered in that cluster. So he's going to have to go into defensive mode thought he asked for the jump cue but he's gonna have to go into defensive mode here but here's how strategic this young man is when it comes to playing high level pool he was actually trying to snooker me behind 11 but what he wants me to do and what i think he wants me to do he wants me to attack he wants me to go for a hail mary shot but i saw through what he was doing and i decided to play look at this shot here a one real kick using the one to block his 11 and still snookering him behind his 11 that was a great shot that could spend the spell the end of the rock here he's gonna try to play a safety i'm sure he's gonna try to pocket my ball to remove that option there for me he still has a problem on the 13 the crowd is tense i did make a side bet with the guy in the orange there so he too is also nervous almost scratching wow but now g unit has left the rack open the six the cue ball has a natural angle from the six to head into the line of the two if i land on this two i should be able to stun across maybe break the 13 and have a shot at the four ball it's a little bit dark in the corner here i'm not able to see exactly what balls i'm shooting at but there we go the six it is there and the guy in the orange is leaning down he's saying 
very unfortunate. G Unit has pretty much given up this match. I'm very confident. This is my chance. This is my opportunity here. We're coming to the end of the match, guys. I'm dead straight in, just a roll shot, having the natural angle to drop onto the short side here. Pocket in the four, lining up for the two. The crowd is now saying yes. Steady. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for watching and uh, watching this match and being entertained by my commentary. I was very proud of myself in this match. I lost two previous finals, but this one definitely gave me the goosebumps. And here we go. Pocket in the four. Onto the eight to take a $40,000 match victory here over the powerful G unit. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell to be notified. Do take care until next time. Apex Selena signing off for the season 2021. Goodbye. Take care. Bye bye.